Oh, oh my gosh. No, <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. I guess I was having a moment there. It just must be a bad daydream. Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. How are you guys doing today? I am super excited because today we are doing a villager hunt on our Kidcore Island Everbell. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And to all of my subscribers, welcome back. You all truly do mean the world to me. I super appreciate all of you guys' amazing suggestions for who we should find on the island. Um, so for today's hunt, some of the suggestions you guys had were completely stellar. I'm thinking that we probably need to find some very bright colored Kidcore style villagers we have a kid core town style theme on our island and i'm looking for some low-key lisa frank style villagers so some of the suggestions that y'all had were completely wonderful so lots of really amazing suggestions from you guys and i really appreciate that so we'll hopefully be able to find one of our dreamies today I do have a pocket full of tickets, so we're gonna hit the skies and see who we can come up with. Now, just as a review, if you missed the theme announcement and um, <laughs> the entrance build, we do actually already have Julian on the island, which I'm really thrilled because he is like the perfect villager, I think, for Kidcore and Lisa Frank. He's the wonderfully smug unicorn. So really excited to have him on the island. And we actually had him on the 1.0 Everbell, which was a forest core style island. So I'm really excited that we already have him to, to start with. He was a number one pick for sure on the island. So let's hit the skies and see who we can find on today's hunt. I can't wait. What have you guys been up to these days? I have been busy getting ready for spring break. It's crazy to me that it's already kind of spring. It's still cold where I live, but really looking forward to having a little bit of fun in the next week or so with my family. So yeah, really excited about it. <laughs> All right, first island, let's see here. Um, we need the pole, and why is it raining? I hate that. <laughs> Everything was beautiful back on our main island. I don't know why that happens, but apparently we're gonna be hunting in the rain today, unfortunately. Okay, who is here today? Oh, it's a little frog. Who is this little cutie? Jambette, oh, she's cute. So she sort of reminds me of somebody that would be selling makeup, like either Avon or, yeah, she totally has those fashion makeup sort of vibes. She's really cute. I kind of love that the um, that none of the frogs actually have umbrellas in the rain. All right, next island, let's see who's here. It's still raining, y'all. Okay, let's see. Oh, I see feet. Who is this? <gasps> Hans, where have you been, my love? Oh my gosh, so we were looking everywhere for Hans when we were doing our last island journey was Polar Bell. It was a winter tundra themed island and Hans was on our dreamy list and we never did find him. And sadly, he does not live on, <laughs> on Polar Bell. But here you are, buddy. And unfortunately, it is not winter time anymore and you don't fit the kid core theme at all. So I think he's supposed to be the abominable snowman. So definitely not for, um, you know, summer and springtime. All right, next island. Let's see who's here. <gasps> Cephalobot, hi. Oh my goodness. Aren't you precious? Buddy, you shouldn't be in the rain. You're gonna rust like crazy. You're gonna be like the Tin Man. <laughs> He's gonna be like the Tin Man on The Wizard of Oz, you guys. He's gonna need an oil can. He's pretty cute. I actually think that he might be a pretty good choice for Kid Core, but he really doesn't fit the, the theme with all the bright colors. So let's keep going. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Why, why is it always the grumpy ones? Ah, uh, I can't. Okay, next island. Let's see who's here. Ooh, bamboo. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Kevin. No, Kevin. <laughs> he is, yeah, you're something, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm going to leave you here in the rain. You know, I'm not really a huge fan of, of Kevin and the pigs in general. When we were doing a, a farm core island, I feel like we saw Kevin a lot on villager hunts. I feel like in general, we see Kevin a lot anyways. I don't think he gets chosen very often. All right, not for us. Sorry, Kevin, bye. <laughs> okay, next island, let's see who's here. Ooh, oranges, I love the oranges. We might have to pick some of those before we go. Where are you? Has it been the rapture? Are we left behind? Where are you, villager? Oh, there you are, another frog. Gigi, oh, she is very fancy. I like the fact that she's purple. I feel like purple would be a really great kid core color, but 
I'm thinking no. I'm thinking no. We do have Whitney on the island. She's a wolf villager and she's so gorgy. Like I love her so much. So she might be our snooty. So we're gonna leave Gigi behind. Next island, who's here? Um, I see a bonfire, which is somehow still burning in the rain. I'm honestly not sure. Oh, it's Zoe. <laughs> Zoe, I can't get to you, my friend. Oh, she's cute. Okay, so I feel like Zoe is like the only acceptable anteater. That's just my personal opinion. I'm not really a fan of the anteaters, but I do think she's super cute. I love her coloring. She seems very sweet, but we're gonna leave Zoe behind because she's not on our dreamy list, unfortunately. Next island. Oh, we have another robot. This is hilarious. I wonder if we'll find Ribot today as well. Given that we've seen frogs and this is our second robot villager, Sprocket. So I feel like he would be perfect for like a science core or like futuristic type of island. He would be super stellar. I don't, I don't necessarily know if I'll ever do a futuristic island, but he would be the perfect villager for that for sure. All right, let's see, still raining. Um, I should have worn a raincoat, I guess, today on this. I didn't realize it would be raining on every single Nook Miles ticket island we found today. <laughs> Cranston, he's pretty cute, I like him. Sweatband, so he must be a jock. I guess, I don't really know a whole lot about Cranston. He's pretty cute, I'm assuming he's supposed to be a crane. Not who we're looking for, though. All right, let's see. I'm getting high hopes, guys. Oh, it's a sheep. <gasps> By the way, I forgot to mention that Etoile was also suggested for our villager dreamies as well. So I am keeping a list of those in case we happen to see any of them. Of course, Etoile is a villager that we would have to amiibo in. And I do happen to have her card. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll have to kind of pare down the list as we go. It's going to depend on who we can find on these hunts, I think. Ooh, we got to climb hella high for this one. <laughs> Who's up here? What? Dude, really? We just saw her. Okay, <laughs> That was a waste of Nook Miles. I feel ripped off, honestly. I want to refund Tom Nook. That was a total rip off. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right, I'm going to speed things up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh, Drago. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, if we ever do any sort of like fantasy type of island that's very like princessy I think Drago would be the perfect villager honestly like he is so cute I love him he totally reminds me of like a Chinese dragon he sort of is giving me Pokemon vibes I really love him okay let's see who's here I see feet it is Hopper hi bud oh my gosh so we had Hopper on Polar Bell nice to see you buddy and sadly you don't know who I am <laughs> that's so depressing we were really good buddies on Polar Bell, my friend. So I guess I will have to visit you there sometime again in the future. <laughs> okay, we're gonna climb again for this one. Who is here? I see feet. Who is it? <gasps> oh my gosh! You guys! Stop it. Stop it right now. It's Claudia. You guys! It's our dreamy. She's here. We found her. Oh my gosh. I was not prepared for this because I really thought this would be a very, very long hunt. And check it out, y'all. She's perfect. We have to take her right. I'm so excited. This is Clutch. Okay. Look at her stripes. She has the heart-shaped stripes on her back. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yes, Claudia, please, please come move to Everbell 2.0. I think you would be the perfect Lisa Frank villager. <laughs> You're so precious. Guys, look at her eyeshadow. It's like giving me straight 90s vibes, which is exactly what I'm looking for. I can remember as a kid, I was in ballet and dance, and my mom did my makeup just like that for ballet recitals. <laughs> I mean, it's perfect, right? She's epic. I love her so much. Okay, so she is coming to our island. This is our new villager. I'm actually kind of floored because I didn't expect to find anybody this soon, but this is really encouraging. So I hope y'all are excited as much as I am. I think this is stellar. Like, oh, she's so cute. <laughs> and she's a snooty type. So she's gonna be like ultra gossipy, which means hopefully we can spend some time at her house and maybe she'll spill the tea about everybody on the island. <laughs> she's so cute and I love her little purple raincoat. Yes, super excited. Okay, so we're gonna head back to the island and I'm gonna, Time hop a little bit so we can kind of check out her new digs because I think her house, from what I remember, is pretty cute. 
Let's head over in this direction. She's just plopped on the beach for now. We'll have to come up with some ideas. If y'all have ideas on what you would like to see for Claudia's yard on the island, um, we are doing a kid town core city style island with 90s vibes, but I think the back end might be sort of reserved like for a little bit more natural style builds as well. So maybe we'll put her on the back side of the island. Hi, Claudia. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Check out her wallpaper too. This is actually really great. I don't particularly care for her carpet. Oh, but that wallpaper is perfect. We'll have to work with that. I love I love when that happens. And her house is perfectly themed on the outside for this island. So we probably won't even have to redecorate the exterior either. I have actually been working on Happy Home Paradise. I went ahead and speed ran Happy Home Paradise last week. So we are able to redecorate our villager houses now on the island, which I'm really excited about. Yes, I'm so excited. I hope y'all enjoyed this very short <laughs> villager hunt for today on the channel. Thank you so much to all of you for watching and subscribing to the channel. Y'all truly do mean the world to me. It means so much to me from here to hear from you guys on Instagram. I think it would be great to do some sort of brightly colored jungle or that sort of vibe going on. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of that idea. I mean, really truthfully, this island is sort of going to be like a mullet. It'll be like business in the front party in the back sort of vibes so trying to come up with some fun ideas and how we can kind of bridge the gap with those two style of builds on the island but i'm really excited with how it will all come together for us in the end i just wanted to thank you so so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this type of content wishing y'all an amazing day take care and we'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.